So hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy and today I'm filming a video that combines two of my greatest loves. One, books, and two, I can't even make a two, two, food. Basically, I am not the greatest cook. I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't have that natural ability of knowing what works, you know, what flavors taste good together. That's not me. I need to follow recipes to the T, otherwise they go completely wrong. So I am, as an adult, living alone in London, I need to obviously not eat out all the time to save my budget. So I try to do some cooking during the week and try and cook meals that will give me kind of like something for lunch the next day. Quite easy to reheat, easy to make, love stuff like that. So basically I wanted to talk about four of my favourite cookery books that I think are A, easy to follow and B, taste amazing. I have kind of a varied selection here and they've all been my staples really of surviving adult life and having to cook for yourself which is harder than it looks. Yes, I really need recipes that are easy to make, have very few ingredients, quite cheap at times and I wanted to talk to you about the best cookery books that I think deliver those recipes. So number one is my queen, Madeline Shaw. So this is Get the Glow by Madeline Shaw and this is her first cookery book. So Madeline Shaw is a vlogger, she's a nutritional health coach, she is just all around a brilliant person and this cookery book was published a few years ago by Orion. It has some incredible recipes which I really want to talk to you about. Mainly this is kind of like, I wouldn't say it's clean eating because you know, there's some unclean stuff in this as well. For example, like, the thing I love best about Madeline Shaw is that she has a lot of meat recipes as well. So she's not vegetarian, she's not vegan. She just eats healthily and it's about having a balanced diet, which I really love that philosophy. So I have previously made this beautiful recipe. It's the thing with recipe books, is that you can't often fit you and the book into frame. But I have previously made the tomato turkey meatballs with homemade tomato sauce and courgette, which is this gorgeous dish right here. And basically, this is a really solid cookbook. It's got everything in there, really healthy recipes, but what I also enjoy about this is it doesn't have bizarre ingredients. You can find all of these in your like local supermarket and it's not gonna be a difficult thing. And because I love that one so much, I also had to include in this the second cookbook from Madeline Shaw, which is Ready Steady Glow. So as you can see by this, this is probably my most used cookbook. And it just takes what was so great about the first book and just amplifies it. There's some really delicious recipes in here. And the main kind of sales point about this book is Ready Steady Glow, it's for fast food. It's for food that you're cooking after you've come back from work or school or whatever and you just need to cook something fast and healthy. So it's divided into two sections, fast and slow. So it's got those really fast recipes that you need kind of like during the week when you don't have a lot of time and then it's got those slower recipes for the weekends. I also want to talk about how beautifully designed this book is. Everything's kind of beautifully laid out, I don't know if you can see, um, but yes, there you go. So actually I want to talk about this dish. I'm such a culinary expert, I'm really not. This is probably, as my housemates will tell you, my most cooked dish ever. It is Madeleine Shaw's chickpea curry. This dish, oh my god guys, like you should buy it for this dish alone. So easy to make, so yummy, really hearty. You know, this kind of feeds two or three people and what I like about it is that it reheats really easily so I cook a batch on a Sunday night and then I can freeze it or reheat it later on in the week for lunches and other dinners and stuff. This is like a blessing. There's also loads of things that I haven't yet made that I really want to make and it's just got a really, really diverse mix of recipes. So there's lots of kind of like Asian dishes. This is the sticky Asian prawns with quinoa and peanuts. It only takes 20 minutes to make. So on every page, there's like little timestamps here, which tell you how long it's gonna take to cook. Love that idea. This is just a great, great book. And I would recommend if you kind of need a cookery book that's meant for kind of fast paced living, it's still healthy and all the ingredients are easy to find, the meals and recipes are easy to make. This is your cookbook, this is your bible. So I also want to briefly talk about the Amelia Freer's Nourish and Glow the 10 Day Plan. So I don't want to follow any plan per se, like I didn't buy this kind of for the plan, 
but it has delicious recipes in it. They also just love the layout of this book in general, like it's a beautifully designed book and yeah, the recipes are pretty awesome too. So one that I'm going to actually probably make tonight is the spicy tomato and prawn courgette. So this is it here and yeah, I love the way the kind of the food is photographed in this book. Very, very easy layout, quite like a small range of ingredients, which I always think is a good thing. And it's just really nicely laid out. So you can, as I said, follow the daily plan if you want to kind of follow Amelia Freer's plan. But I do kind of use this for the staple recipes in it. And finally, I want to talk about something that might be controversial to those anti-clean eating people. I am one of those to be fair. It is Deliciously Ella by Ella Woodward. So this kind of kicked off the whole clean eating trend, I guess so. Ella has, I think it's like plant-based that she kind of advocates, like she advocates a plant-based diet. So a lot of these recipes in here, I must say, aren't, you know, they're not my favorites. But there are a few things from this which every single summer I make routinely. And one of these recipes is the roasted squash olive avocado and rocket salad so this is like tried and tested this is delicious even down to the dressing i mean for somebody like me who doesn't know basic food you know food stuff in the sense that i don't really know how to make a salad dressing wouldn't know where to start don't know what ingredients are in it it's really good to kind of like train myself up in terms of how to make basic salad dressings loads of great ingredients especially in this one the one negative about this cookery book, however, is that a lot of the ingredients you can't really find in your local supermarket. The more obscure ingredients like buckwheat flour and stuff like that, where it's like, you know what, I'm just gonna use normal flour. I'm just gonna do it. But there are some really delicious stuff in here. A lot of the food, some of the recipes are quite hard to make, but a few of the salads and stuff I've tried from this are really, really delicious. and delicious. I think this is a really good healthy cookbook if you want to cook with really just pure ingredients, really nice vegetables, nice salads, this is perfect. So I always try and dig this one out in the summer um, just because it's got the salads that are beautiful. So guys those are a few of my top cookbooks that I like to cook from. Do let me know your favourites down below. Is there anything that I'm missing here? What should I try? Introduce me as a cookery newbie. And yeah, I'm going to try out all the recipes, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.